Hello everybody. Today is December 18th, 2015. It's 8.53 a.m. and I had a request to do another video on how I set up ExoPlatform and the video conferencing using uh, OpenFire. So we're looking at the OpenFire main page here and um, we'll go through the separate steps. I also have a sorry, a blank EXO platform here. It is, um, let's see, it is a release candidate uh, 4.3.0, so it's not, um, a, a finished product as yet. So you can see like uh, the chat works, but the icons are a little out of whack, things like that. And I only have one space really set up at this point in here. So let's go ahead and get to the OpenFire side. OpenFire is an XMPP server that handles um, video streaming, audio, etc. It also has the uh, most excellent ability to run the Jitsi client from uh, Jitsi.org which is uh, for those that aren't really too knowledgeable in this it's like a private Skype or uh, Microsoft Link. So uh, really easy to set this up. You go into users and groups and uh, set up your users and they'll show up here and you can stream uh, address books etc. So anyway what we're focusing on is the HTML5 video conferencing in a browser. So the first thing you want to do is go to group chat and create a new room and we'll just do test and most of these uh, have to be filled out. And we can limit how many are in any room at any given time. I'm going to set this for 10. I'm going to leave broadcast presence alone. And I am going to give it a password. We can change some things over here in the room options. I usually make this uh, leave this default that way everybody can log in that uh, you want to have in the conference room log in with this password or if it's a one-time meeting with a client and you don't want any password just leave that blank and it will allow anybody in okay so uh, we've just created that room and you can see now it's listed here let's go back over to the home page and we'll talk about this built-in text chat in a moment and I'm gonna go to my text space and I am going to now as an administrator edit this page edit the layout and I'm gonna scroll all the way down here to tools and grab this iframe and I'm going to throw it in right between the space menu and the space activity because my line of thinking with having a uh, embedded chat room within Exo Platform is that people can use the activity stream to make comments within the meeting, the video conference meeting. And we're going to go here and we're going to change something. We're going to edit this iframe. And we're going to change this. To a DNS, I use DDNS, so we're going to go here and we're going to change this to test and save it. And I use not the HTTPS, which um, gives me problems within the iframe and EXO platform because of the way the browsers handle certificates. So I use a non SSL um, connection. Then I go to portlet settings and I change this height to something that's manageable for all users to see. So I'm going to change the height to 600, turn the show info bar off, show portlet mode off, show window state off, and uh, save it. And then come up here to finish to save it again. Now immediately what this will do is here it's going to tell me that I need to have Chrome, Chromium, or Opera 
uh, to run this iframe. So let's go ahead and open this same link in a browser that is called Iridium, I believe. Iridium, yes. And I'm going to log in again with those same credentials. Um, I use access the portal and it's now asking me to allow my mic and camera and give me the password that's required for the room. Now I am set up and running now. I can have other members come in and I can turn off mute. I can stop my camera, I can lock or unlock the room, I can invite others. When you hit the invite key here, it opens up your web or your uh, email client that's default on your machine. I still have forum, wiki, documents, agenda, space settings and members here and I also have a social stream for this room underneath. Um, open close that chat. I can share an online PDF, shared application. I cannot share screen in a non-SSL environment and I can't go full screen on this because it's in an iframe. And I've had different people uh, actually ask me about how I'm doing this. Um, it is in a iframe container which Exo Platform handles very, very well. Uh, so you can do iframes for all sorts of content that's online. Um, I haven't tried, but you could probably embed this right within the room, um, the, the social feed as a, a divider, as a div container in HTML code. However, I have not um, put any effort towards that simply because this does the trick for me. I don't need to worry about um, anything along those lines. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and I'll go back to the main page and we are done in regards to how to um, embed the HTML5 part of OffMeet and um, open fire server. And you can look up, uh, I might even still have some um, videos on open fire and I probably will be getting back into doing videos on Open Fire because the new version uh, 4 will be coming out here shortly. And I'm just waiting for everybody to catch up uh, before loading any of the betas or anything like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go into Sophos UTM. And uh, they have a really nice HTML5 VPN portal set up. And I am going to go to my Exo platform in an HTML5 window. And you can disregard this. I must have some kind of configuration setting wrong. And uh, I use a emulate or a uh, command window called um, Con Emu. It's available on SourceForge.net. And I just like how it handles things. So I'm going to go to CD X. And I'm in X is my uh, XO folder on my server. And I'm going to do add on list. And that's going to give me the XO platform add ons manager. Here, if I don't have, and, and by default, it's not installed. Um, as a uh, portlet in EXO is uh, the ability to add the community chat uh, add-on. So if I do add on install space EXO chat community space dash dash no dash compat and hit enter, it's probably going to tell me it's already installed. And it's already installed. 
but that's the command line to install the uh, chat, the text chat widget in Exo Platform, and be able to drag and drop files into that chat window to be able to uh, share with colleagues in different locations. Um, it's pretty simple. The add-on um, um, manager is really great in Exo Platform. Be nice at some point in time to ha actually have that manager integrated into the. Uh, gate in and uh, exo platform. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from here and we'll go back to the space and we have an embedded video conferencing for up to 10 people. Depending on your bandwidth you can certainly drop it up to uh, 30. Thanks for watching. I'm Jay Weldy with jrweldy.net. I hope everyone has a marvelous holiday season. Take care. Be safe.